So welcome back, man. How's it feel to be back? Fantastic. Like I never left. <laughs> I never thought I'd be so happy to feel this heat and humidity in my life, but I am. I ste stepped right off the plane. It's like I never left. So how, and how many times have you been back since you played? I have not. I haven't because I, I was playing ball, obviously, in the pros, and I didn't really get to go home while I was here. So I actually got a real off season in the pros, and so I was able to go home, and my son, Kane was just born, so I had to take him to see my mother as well. So you know, I, I kind of had my priorities wouldn't allow me. And obviously I'm playing during season. So, um, and then once I stopped playing, well, he was around seven and now I'm coaching him. And so it just life and, uh, you know, it's not the easiest flight to get to, but my nose came to me for two, 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 for the national championship and then the following year after. So I got a little something to hold me over, but I couldn't, I just couldn't hold it anymore. How cool was that getting to see that out there in um, 2013? Oh, amazing, amazing. Right there in California too. And it was just, you know, it was it was really like a reunion for me. Leon came out and we pretty much spent that whole week catching up, <laughs> you know, so um, but it was it was it was fantastic. And but still nothing, nothing beats being here. Can you believe it's been 20 years? I can't. <laughs> Honestly, I really can't. I mean, it it's the same, but a lot different. The bones of Tallahassee are the same. But, you know, it was just you know, I wanted to do the campus tour just as much as them because I felt like I needed it to a certain degree. So, um, but I can guarantee, you know, from here on out, it will not be that long. I mean, this is my son's second time here in the last three months and we'll be back during football season as well. What's it uh, like seeing him work out on these fields? And yesterday he was working out in dope, right? Yep, surreal, surreal. And, and I mean, he was literally made in Tallahassee, you know? <laughs> so so for him, it's like, you know, he's he's been, hearing about it from me and his mother his entire life. I mean, you know, everywhere in the house is Florida State and stuff like that. So, you know, for him, it was like being home, even though physically he hadn't been here. For him, it's still like being home because he knows so much about it. You, uh, even when you were playing in the league, did you have to pay attention to what the Knowles were doing? Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> it just, it, I may not have been here physically, but <laughs> mentally, emotionally, spiritually, I was, I'm, I'm a Knoll forever. In fact, what's so crazy is, is I was, he and I were just sitting at this uh, local spot called The Blend in, in Oxnard. And uh, we, I saw a guy who just graduated from Florida State <laughs> randomly. And I'm like, dude, we got to stick together out here. It ain't that many of us. So I'm, I'm a knoll even when I'm not here physically. So just being here, it just brings everything full circle. For me. And then working with him as a recruit, like what are, what are some of the things you give him advice? In terms of um, I mean, well, you have to separate your emotions and then what what fits luckily for him florida state hits both i mean to, to be honest with you i mean obviously we're, we're very historic in terms of throwing the ball um and so um you know my wonder is is he going to outgrow receiver and play tight end because he's he's already so big and he's only 15 years old so um but either way you know we we obviously use the, utilize the tight ends here at florida state and uh and receivers clearly so I think for him, and then I wouldn't have to worry about him being here. You know, I still know a lot of people there that have been here for a while. Do, you know, Dale G. Ross is in there. So, it, you know, there's still a lot of the same people, uh, Miss Carroll. And so, you know, I would obviously he'd be comfortable. He was born here. So this is like home for him. And he's 200 pounds? 200 pounds, man. 6'2", 200 pounds, and he's 15. What did you weigh coming out of high school? Buck 70 <laughs> after all of that rain <laughs> with everything on. So... Yeah, he, he's supposed to end up being 6'3", so, yeah, he he ain't get that part from me. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you want to get back to a game this fall? You're, you're Absolutely, I'm going to. I, I have to see, yeah, I got to see Dope alive, you know, it just, there's still nothing like it. I was getting PTSD in the stadium yesterday, <laughs> you know, just going, how you get chills in 90 degree heat, but it just, and everybody kept telling me that, they're like, that has to be nuts for you, and I'm like, you don't even get it. I end up having to like leave for a minute, you know, because it was just like everything comes rushing back. You know, it's like you never left. But this was, you know, this was as big as my dream to play pro football was to come to Florida State. And I virtually given away all of my other helmets and the pros and all those things. But my Seminole stuff ain't going nowhere. <laughs> uh -uh. Did, um, and then you keep in touch with some of the guys? Absolutely, absolutely. I see Myron all the time. I've seen Myron twice in like the last seven months. Um, and so, um, but you know, I, I definitely keep in touch. Ricks is around the corner, obviously right. my fellow California guy, and he's doing, been doing his thing at Fox for a while. He covered one of, one of my son's games actually last year. So that was like surreal in itself. So, um, you know, 
Florida State is a brotherhood. And uh, talking to Casey, you know, when he was trying to figure out if he wanted to come here, and that was my biggest thing. I'm like, hey, look, you know, just like how it was at St. Bonaventure in terms of it being a brotherhood and close knit, it's the same way here in Tallahassee. And, and, and you know, as soon as he got here, he recognized it quick.